So this is a, a camper van we've been staying in for the last week here. Um, it's in nice, lovely West Cork and um, see the amazing view. Um, plenty of wind here. Hopefully my little wind mouse on the mic is like blocking some of that. So yeah, let's, uh, let's just go around it and have a look at the features. So we've got the good old 90s uh, alarm warning sticker. Um, don't steal my stereo kind of thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the inside here. Uh, it's it's left-hand drive, as you can see. Most I think most of these camper vans were, uh, they were all built by, um, they were all built by companies in Germany and stuff. So, or most of them were. So uh, this is, yeah, this would be a left-hand drive example. Um, I, I think this thing has had the, this, these aren't the original seats. They might be out of a, out of a Volkswagen Passat or something like that. Um, yeah, so it's like, uh, yeah, just a pretty standard van, pretty much up, up front here. Um, column, column mounted gear change as well. And uh, various sort of interesting, nice looking dashboard in here. Um, it's uh, very kind of clear and concise. Um, there's some electrics here for the camper. Uh, I think these are the original ones here. This control panel up here controls sort of all the electrics and things. And um, there's a USB chargers there as well, which were in installed more recently. Um, and yeah, so that's the front. Um, yeah, not, not too interesting. That's just a basic van, um, van interior up the front. But uh, let's go around the side and we'll see what makes the makes it the camper. Um, so in here you've got uh, your propane or butane tanks or gas tanks for um, cooking and running the fridge. Um, in here is the uh, toilet tank. Um, so yeah, it's like a portable cartridge based toilet system. Um, and you just pull the, the whole thing out and uh, empty it and yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> um, there's some bike racks at the back here. Uh, I think this is this is probably like a vent for the fridge. Um, there's various other sort of vents around here. Um, mostly kind of plastic windows as well. Um, they're still in pretty good condition after whatever uh, 29 years old that this van is. Um, so yeah, let's let's go inside here. We've got a uh, like a half door, so you can open half of this and there's sort of clips here to lock the door to the side. So hopefully they'll stay on while it's windy here. So let's come inside and have a look. Yeah, so here we've got uh, a, a sink. Um, all this stuff folds down for when you're traveling, so you can store it all away. Um, there's two gas burners under here as well. Like that. And a fridge here down here, which is uh, also gas powered. Um, that gets very cold indeed. Um, just all sorts of little storage compartments here for things. Um, there's a big wardrobe here. Um, yeah, plenty of plenty of storage bins like all the way around uh, for keeping plates and things. And there's uh, you know ways of securing them in when you're driving as well, so things don't rattle around the place. Over here we have a a solar charging system as well. So there's a solar panel on the roof um, that charges the batteries in the van. Um, so during the day, any kind of electricity that you used at night. I uh, will recharge the, the batteries and these are bigger. They're kind of like leisure batteries. They'd be much bigger than a normal sized car battery. It's a big, uh, massive battery and sort of fuse uh, set up there and breakers and everything. So it's all quite, uh, it's all quite advanced. In here is uh, the bathroom. Um, there's a, yeah, a bit of sink here. Um, to uh, it's a toilet down there and a shower as well up here. So this is like a, a wet room. There's drain holes, uh, 
down here in the floor, which uh, let the water drain out when you're having a shower. And um, there's also, yeah, there's various storage compartments in the toilet for things. Um, sort of uh, lights here as well. Um, yeah, it's all well. Uh, shaver socket up there too. Um, the shower also has, uh, well, the whole camper is fitted out with hot water as well, which is um, quite an amazing luxury to have in a camper. There's a small, uh, a small gas boiler here um, that heats the water. And yeah, it gets very hot actually, so you can have a nice shower and you can wash your dishes and everything with hot water. Um, so in terms of like accommodations, there's like this nice bed here which folds out into uh, into a bed um, and there's plenty of plenty of couches and things around um, and then there's a big there's a large bed up here uh, with a complete with a ladder to, to get up to it uh, these are there's blinds here which pull down as well so pull those down at night um, and plenty of fresh air vents as well um, complete with fly screens and everything so uh, keep the little insects out uh, okay so there's one or two other small features here um, we'll just go around the driver's side of the van and get the lovely view here um, so around the front we've got this big uh, water tank here <clears throat> So you can fill that through there. Um, and that has, there's a water pump under there as well, which gives a nice, uh, gives a nice pressure uh, to the, to the taps. So they're not, um, yeah, they're not, you're not getting kind of dribble of water coming out. I don't know if the water pump's original or not, but um, I think these camper vans would have, would have come with one originally. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, I don't think I can show you the engine. So I don't know where the, the bonnet pull is but um yeah i think I'll, I'll leave that um but yeah this is uh so that's it um this is the camper we've been staying in for the last week so yeah thanks for watching hope you enjoyed